Hi, if you want to try oil painting and you just want to learn the basics, here is a great place to start. Hi, so I've been painting with oils since 1990 and uh, here is my very first oil painting which is not that good but uh, still precious to me because it's my first one. And here's some later work, more recent. And another one. So you can see I've developed quite a loose painterly style and that's why I love oil paints because it not only enables that but it encourages it. Here's another recent painting with really nice juicy painterly effects. Juicy! It's juicy so it's good. There's a number of nice features about oil paints. Uh, firstly, they're thick and buttery, which you don't get with uh, watercolor. They dry really slowly uh, compared to acrylics and watercolor, which means that you can get really nice soft edges with them. You can create beautiful blends between one color and another. And because they dry so slowly, it means if you make a mistake, you can just scrape it off and try again, which you certainly don't get with watercolor. And with acrylics, you have to paint over the top. So what might be bad about oils, uh, solvents and mediums can be smelly and toxic. Uh, cleanup can take longer um, because you know oil paint doesn't wash out in water unless you get water mixable oil paints. Um, oil paints take a long time to dry. So let's deal with those problems right now. Smelly solvents and mediums, nobody wants that. So I use Gamsol, which is an odorless mineral spirits. For a painting medium, which is used to make the paint flow better, I use uh, walnut oil and that's not smelly or toxic. You can actually put it on a salad and eat it. Yeah, cleaning oil paints out of your brushes can take a while. Um, that's if you bother to clean them. Now I don't bother anymore. I'll show you what I do. I've got safflower oil in this container here and my brushes are soaking in it. So all I do is get the excess paint off the brush when I'm finished on a paper towel, use a bit of Gamsol maybe, and then plop them in here. And that means that the paint won't dry in there and they're good to go when I want to paint next time. Using safflower oil is great because it's fast, it's easy and it keeps your brush in better condition because it stops the bristles from drying out. If you're worried about your oil painting taking a long time to dry, there's a couple of things you can do to speed the process up. One is to use a, a white which is an alkyde white which dries faster. And because you mix most of your colors on your palette with white, that tends to make the whole painting dry faster. Uh, another thing you can do is use a alkyde medium to add to your colors to make the painting dry faster. These can be a little bit fumy. I prefer to use these outdoors rather than indoors. This is the least smelly one I've been able to find so far. It's the uh, Walnut Alkyde Medium from M. Graham.